Good afternoon, Jacksonville boaters. It's Brad at Yamaha Marine Center in Orange Park on Wells Road, right off of 295, across the street from Adam at Carly Davidson. Hopefully, you've heard of us. Today, we have a 2007 Pathfinder 2200 tournament. Uh, pretty clean boat. It's been used, but well taken care of. We just had her waxed again. Uh, but you're looking at just about 22 feet even on the length, eight foot six on the beam, and about 2,600 pounds dry. I believe that's with engine. Uh, this boat is also priced with the trailer that it's sitting on right now, Continental. Don't know what year it is, but it's in decent shape. Tires seem to have plenty of tread on them. <clears throat> Springs seem to be okay. Now let's get back to the boat. Like I said, pretty good shape. A couple little scuffs here and there in the gel coat. Nothing structural, looks like just some dock rash and things, but it's just a classic Pathfinder, rock solid, motor guide XI-5, trolling motor for your anchoring. Good looking Pathfinder hull, decent reverse chine, not a whole lot of flare to it, but it is a dry running boat. Like I said, it is solid. A couple of lifting strikes to get you up out of the water a little bit quicker. Nice steep entry on the front to really cut through those choppy bay crossings. Big T-top, it looks pretty oversized, has a VHF antenna up there, aft spreader light. Uh, you have the rod gasket, so you can still use your rod storage, your vertical storage here, and get your uh, seven, seven and a half, eight foot flies, fly rods, stuff like that in there for quick and easy access. Uh, to the back of the boat, we do have a six foot power pole, I believe. I don't know what series it is. It looks maybe like a sportsman. Um, older generation, but to my knowledge, everything still works. Uh, Lenco trim tabs. Transducer there for the uh, Garmin unit up front. Yamaha F-150 has about 656 hours on it, I believe, if I remember properly. And then we have uh, Bob's Machine Shop, flats jack plate. Nice big swim platform and also a pulling platform with some more rod holders. Don't know if I'd like to push around a 2200 Pathfinder, but if uh, you were so inclined, we could throw a push pole on here and get you back in those skinny waters. Coming on the boat. All the upholstery is in really nice shape. I believe it was you know, kept indoor under cover because everything's in, in really good condition. Get another look at that home platform. Down into one of the three live wells. This is probably the biggest of the three. And then the one in the center. And then we have all of our pumps. There's a power pole pump. <clears throat> Down into the raw water pump, all your through holes, battery switch. For uh, being a 2007, everything's pretty clean. That power pole pump's probably about the nastiest one. But again, I'm pretty sure everything works. And if not, we can address it at a future date. Up on the dash, Clarion radio, which does work. Can't speak for the taste of music, but you can always change the station. I think this one has a CD player on it too. So if you stop any of those laying around. All your switches, water pressure, engine gauges, yep, 656 hours, you can see that, a little Garmin GPS map 541, so you should have some chart plotting in that uh, sonar module in the back. Uh, steering wheel is hydraulic, fixed hydraulic steering, jack plate, hydraulic, uh, key, Yamaha binnacle, it's a pretty clean boat overall. Got a little bit of storage on this side. Speakers on the console. Inside the consoles, all the trolling motor batteries. Breaker going up front to the trolling motor. VHF antenna down here. Charger that is plumbed all the way over here so you can just plug in your extension cord right inside without having to get in the head all the time. A little cooler seat up front with an additional storage compartment that is seen better days. But we can probably find something to go in there and plug that hole. Again, upholstery is in really nice condition. Fuel fill pop-up cleats, some additional midship flush mount rod holders, and then this is really nice lockable storage. Tubes that run almost all the way to the bow, I believe. So again, a bunch of rod storage. You can fit big rods in there, long rods. Uh, same rod storage on that side, and then floor storage, cast nets. Not going to be fitting a five-gallon bucket in there, but at least it's wet storage for nasty cast nets and other tools. 
that you don't want to put in good storage. Again, no garage storage on this side. Tube to the front. Compartment here. Storage, some access. Looks like a fresh water tank or something down in there. figure that out for you. Maybe somebody can leave a message and tell me what the heck that is. Another little live wall up front. I guess that way if you're fishing up front you can put some more baits up here. And then your quick release on the power connection for the trolling motor and an anchor locker up front. And there's those tubes. Like I said they go almost all the way to the bow of the boat from that rod locker. Good look at the boat from the bow looking back. And then as always if you have any questions about this boat or anything else on the lot are running out of boats this time of year uh, feel free to call us at 904-644-7631 ask for brad or barton or you can always find us on the internet at 904 that's our phone number again <laughs> find us on the internet at www.yamahamarinejax.com